6, part 7, bad cards. Okay, so what are the bad, what are the qualities of bad cards? 1, confusing text, 2, pointless restrictions, and 3, giving away advantages. So let's go to point number 1, confusing text. Okay, so 1, confusing text. So, effects on a card that make no sense. The cards, the cards, at times, can be literally unplayable as a translation from Japanese to any other language. Below, I will showcase an example of a card that is unplayable and has confusing text. Fuse Love. Now, I'm going to show you the card again and talk about it and why it has confusing text. Okay, so here is the normal track. So let's read that effect. While this card is set, target one card on the field. In this card's column, destroy it. Now, this is a problem, right? Because cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, whenever they're activated, they need to be faced up. But what this card is saying, that while it is set, so while it is face down, target one card on the field, in its column, and destroy it. This means the card is literally unplayable because it is suggesting that it can activate itself while face down. And there is no card in Yu-Gi-Oh that can do that, right? There, is, there exists no such card that can activate while it's face down because when a card is activated, it needs to face, be face up to show that it has been activated, right? so that your opponent can respond to it either with a quick effect or a negate effect or whatever kind of response they need to uh, have with it and so it's important that it is face up but because it says where well, this card is set target one card this, um, you know, yes there's a semicolon there but it is suggesting that so it's confusing text it's just unplayable, an unwritten mess, the translation was completely wrong here. This is just awful. So let's go to the next point. Okay, so two pointless restrictions, right? So there are restrictions on cards to balance them. At times, other times, to stop abuse with some other potent card that exists. But there are times when restrictions are on cards that are completely pointless. Here is a card that follows such restrictions, right? Okay, so let's talk more about this card. It's called Center Frog. So let's read that effect, right? So, cannot be used as material for a fusion summon, synchro, XYZ, or link summon. If this card is normal or flip summon, change it to a defense position. Once per turn, you can target one monster in your opponent's main monster zone, give your opponent control of this defense position card by moving it to their zone, adjacent to the target. Then if your opponent controls exactly two center frogs in the main monster zone, gain control of all monsters in between those two cards. Now, what is the issue with this card? First of all, is has completely put the restriction there to the extra deck. Okay, but before we go to the point of restriction, I get it. Frogs were a deck that were very dangerous, especially Toad and Awesome. You know, it was everywhere. Maybe Konami is really afraid of Toads, as this is a level 2 Aqua. So it's a Toad and Awesome target to make Toads. So if they did want to put a restriction on it, then a restriction of no XYZ summoning and no Link summoning is perfectly fine. But why the restriction for fusion to synchro summoning as well? Why that? Like, that is completely unnecessary. This makes the card completely unplayable in modern uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Maybe like in retro Yu-Gi-Oh, this can be played. But in modern Yu-Gi-Oh, this is completely pointless. A restriction that is not needed. It's completely heavy-handed, right? It was not needed for fusion and synchro extra deck love. Link and XYZ can be understandable, we can understand, I can understand, um, you know, from Konami's point of view, but Fusion and Synchro is completely, completely unwarranted behavior there, but such is life, such is Yu-Gi-Oh, and such is Konami. 
That's it. So let's move on to the third and last point, right? Okay, three. And here is the third point. Three, giving away advantages. So let's have a read. You got a read there? Yes, this is the last indicator where the card gives an advantage. Whoever, when whoever a big handicap is given to the player before the advantage is gained. At times, the handicap can be so damaging to even lose you the duel on the spot. Here's an example of a card with such an effect. Yeah, so it's called Gold Moon Coin. So let's talk about Gold Moon Coin. Okay? Okay, so I went off on a rant, on a rant there, you know, this one was ragey. But yeah, like this, this is the last point, which is giving away advantage. And this is one of the best examples of a card that does that. You know, you ha you get uh, you're giving away two cards from your hand to your opponent. Like this is just a big no-no. And this is the situation with bad cards. Bad cards always have this way of giving away advantage in whether it be it from your hand, be it hand advantage, field advantage, life point advantage. You know, any kind of advantage that you currently have, a bad card will give it away to give you a sort of plus. So it gives you a plus. But really, it's not really a plus with Gold Moon Coin. You've not really plus, you've just net, you've just minus two and just got, went back to your starting position to draw two cards. So you gave away two cards to get back two cards. You haven't really changed the situation. You might have even made it worse. You know, because whatever cards you've given to your opponent, they will be able to use them against you. So yeah, so there's that. So this is the issue with bad cards, right? So whenever you see a bad card, remember the you know the points I, I, you know, I made there. You know, with one, we have confusing text, right? As I uh, mentioned, refuse line. Two, we have pointless restrictions, as I mentioned there, with center frog. And three. You know, we have here, you know, giving away advantages, as you can see here, with gold moon coin. And that's pretty much it. So, that's pretty much it for this video. And so, I'll be, you know, so look out for these tips and tricks videos. I'll be going to my last point, you know, in the next video, which will be broken cards. And talking about the three things that make broken cards. Hope to see you soon. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands. Um, hopefully I'll see, hopefully you know, you'll, you'll subscribe to this channel. And uh, wait a couple of minutes and you'll, seconds, sorry, and you'll see some other videos that appear on my channel. Hope to see you soon and thank you.